Chit for Headings here with a new post processing tool. Today's episode is about AMC, the Anamorphic Mumps Corrector, a simple After Effects preset that can help you fix those pesky mumps. All you need is some eyeballing skills. Play with the amount and curvature sliders until you achieve the desired effect and hit render. After last year's tutorial on how to correct anamorphic mumps, I got some great feedback from people that love the effect. They also said it was completely impractical to do the whole Photoshop process. So a few weeks ago, I was talking to Lucas Pfaff about how to achieve a similar effect in a video application, and that's when AMC was born. Before you start, you should place the preset file in the correct folder. For Windows users, you gotta go to C, Program Files, Adobe, uh, After Effects, your version, then you put it on the plugins or the presets folder. For Mac users, go to Applications, After Effects version, and just put it there somewhere. Now open After Effects and you can find AMC in the Effects and Presets panel under the Animation Presets folder. The preset is a combination of native effects and controllers rigged with expressions. The base itself is the effect Bezier Warp, but that by itself is pretty useless. So what the expressions do is make it fit to any comp size and then all you have to do to adjust is play with the sliders. I'll demonstrate first on a checkerboard and then I'll move on to footage. Amount controls how much uh, compression will be applied. Positive values will compress the middle while expanding the edges and negative values will expand the middle compressing the edges. The curvature slider creates or corrects for barrel distortion. If you go positive values, the image will bulge inwards and if you go negative values, it'll come outwards. Set it to zero and you'll have a completely straight warp. The curvature control slider affects how intense this distortion is. The advantages of this method over the previous one using Photoshop are beyond obvious. Just to name a few, you have faster feedback by seeing in real time what you're doing, you have friendlier controls that you can understand what's happening, and it's much easier to apply to video without exporting a thousand million frames. Uh, so there you go. I'm constantly trying to come up with new tools and tutorials, and you'll be helping a lot by just liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Also, before you go to the blog and download the preset, you should subscribe to this channel and check out Lucas Reviews. I'm Chit Fedens, and I'll see you next week.